My name is Bruce Morgan and I'm 62 years old now, getting old, making jewelry. And I'm a Navajo, full-blooded Navajo. My mom's a Navajo, my dad's a Navajo. And I was raised on the reservation, Navajo reservation, I would say. How did you start your career? Well, the way I started making jewelry is I was in high school back in 1975. I was a junior at Tehachapi High School. And I had an aunt that was making jewelry. And he had the tools, the torch, everything. And he worked and he did the jewelry part time. And he got, she got killed in a car accident. So my grandma ended up with the jewelry, the, the tools, the torch and stuff. And, and she's the one that gave it to me and told me, oh, here, do something with it. I think you're the only one that can make use of it. So I started on basic uh, jewelry making in high school. That was just the basic. And then after that, I graduated in 76, 78. I went down to Phoenix and started working, making jewelry for the Arabs. And that's where it started picking up for me. Mm. How did you get your electrician skill? Well, after I was making jewelry, I started making some jewelry. See, from the beginning, people don't know you that much and your jewelry isn't that good when you first start. And, uh, and I wasn't making that much or not much to live with uh, making jewelry. So I started working at the uranium mine, church route. New Mexico as a uranium miner. I started that. And then from there there was an I was a miner. And from there there was an opening in electrical department. And I signed up for it and here they, they picked me to be an electrician. I didn't know nothing about electrician. So I went ahead and learned on job training. And then after that for a year and being an electrician, they laid me off the, the company, started laying off people and I got laid off. So I thought I might as well learn more about being an electrician. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be an electrician because I thought they made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I went to school to Albuquerque. That mm -hmm. time it was called CIP, uh, TVI. Now it's CNM. And that's where I took my commercial electrician and some electronic class. I should have been an electrical engineer, but I didn't. I went back making jewelry again because I worked as an electrician and it was too much work. You got to work in the heat, the cold, and it's a lot of work. So I just quit and went back making jewelry. That time I was making traditional jewelry that's like contra belts and bracelets with turquoise traditional and it wasn't getting really getting me anywhere in 1983 that's when i started making the two-tone that's the silver and the gold overlay and i think i was the first one that started that and from there on, it started going because... Okay. Your work was, is known as simple and traditional stamp work design now. Is there any difficulty to keep that tradition? No. This, uh, the work I'm doing with the two-tone is the stamp work. And it's doing me good. And it... It's, it's been good to me, and uh, I'll keep that up. I don't think uh, 
I will go go ahead and make start making uh, concha bell or squash blossom or other traditional because it takes too much time. Mm -hmm. The two tone, the stamping don't take that much, mm -hmm. and you can make a lot of jewelry, and then there's more money coming in on that. Yeah, I've been I enjoy making other stuff like I made a silver king for that was back in nineteen. 82 it was a silver cane made by me and it went to a prime minister in Egypt so my jewelry is all over the world wherever you go you'll see my jewelry so as Navajo artists I think silversmiths mean to keep your traditional life but at the same time your jewelry is spreading out as fashion jewelry what do you think about that well, it's good for me. I think it's good because uh, the more the more jewelry I make, the more they want. And this is simple, and it goes with the fashion. Uh, you can wear it with anything, and that's what people like. You can wear it daily or just to a special occasion. Mm -hmm. Put in a little bit of gold on there, they, it means a lot to them and they think it's a, an expensive jewelry. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's good for me and I'll do it as long as I can. Mm -hmm. What do you think made your career successful? Well, other jewelry, traditional jewelry already got me out there as my name because uh, I had customers coming in from throughout the world, Germany, other places. Uh, they took my jewelry back mm -hmm. to their country and they sell and they come back for more. And the two tones the same now, but it's even better for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that's what got me mm -hmm. at where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. And it's good for me. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much for your time and sharing your story today. Mm -hmm. Thank you.